When mixing, getting your tracks set up for automation can be a complex task. In this video, we will go over the various ways to set up, use, and write automation in Pro Tools and other Yukon enabled DAWs using the Avid Pro Tools S3 dock and control app. The first method is cycling through automation modes from the S3 channel strip by holding down the surface shift switch and pressing the desired channel's record automation switch. This lets you cycle through the different automation modes in Pro Tools, write, touch, latch, touch latch, off, and read. If you would rather jump directly to an automation mode on a channel, the right hand soft keys on the S3 are programmed to switch to the different automation modes, write, touch, latch, trim, read, and off. Press the switch for the automation mode you want, and then press the channel select switch to switch to that mode. You can also use either of these methods in conjunction with the multi-assign switch to change modes on multiple channels at once. To switch automation modes from the dock's attention channel and the dedicated automation switches to the right of it, make sure to check the setting under U Control General, Dock Automation Mode Buttons Follow Attention Channel. Now when you attention a track to the dock's fader, you can switch automation modes right from the dedicated switches. You can also still use these switches to change more than one track at a time by using due to all or due to selected from multiple selected tracks. If you want to change automation modes directly from the control app, select the mixer page and tap on a channel's automation mode switch. A pop-up menu will appear and you can change that channel to the desired automation mode. Any of the above methods for changing automation modes will work the same in any Yukon enabled program, like Logic Pro or Cubase. Once you have your automation mode selected, you can roll the transport and start writing automation. The faders and encoders are touch sensitive, so it is easy to go in and out of automation writing in touch mode just by grabbing a fader or encoder to write and letting go to punch out. In latch mode, touching a fader or encoder will start writing automation for that parameter and continue until you stop the transport or match out. To match out, use the auto match keys on either the S3 or the dock. If you want to view the automation data that was just written to the track, just hold down the control and command modifiers on the S3 and touch the fader or encoder that you want to view. The automation playlist for that parameter on that track will show on the edit page. You can use the due to all or due to selected modifiers to switch all or selected tracks to a particular automation playlist. Press the select switch along with the control and command modifiers to switch back to waveform view. Using the Pro Tools S3 dock and control app to arm, write, and view automation makes executing mixes fast and allows you to get across your creative ideas quickly and efficiently. These methods of setting automation modes, along with writing and viewing automation data, will let you work the way you want and allow you to stay creative while mixing.